Liberty defeats NJIT 62 to 49 on Saturday night. And as the first time these two teams met, Liberty just manhandled yep. the Highlanders there in New Jersey. Very different story tonight, but they find a way to get it done. Yeah, you know, there was a dog fight. And you know what? Looking back now, Liberty secures the victory, but it's exactly what they needed tonight to be in a fight getting ready for Thursday night. Well, it started off really slowly offensively for both teams. Liberty shot just 25% from the field in the first half. Zach Cook struggled to get his game going as well, and Liberty would lead it just 23-21 of the break. An ugly first half offensively for both teams. Second half, though, the offense would come from Suleiman Diakite. Not what you would expect, but the big fella ended up with 12 points now. Yeah, we mentioned that other guys would have to step up. We weren't sure it was going to be who it was going to come from, but Diakite was the guy. He got in the paint, was very effective. A couple little hook shots and, and putbacks. Speaking of big fellas, yeah. Mayo Baxter Bell. What a performance you would have for the Flames. 14 points off the bench. Seven of those in the second half, including you're going to see here in just a moment. <laughs> he the two threes and the biggest one coming late in the second half right yeah, here. Really the shot of the night. Game on the line and he needed a basket. And again, big look at Kill Holmesley, but Mayo stepped up, showed his confidence, his seniority, yeah. didn't hesitate, nailed the three to secure the victory for Liberty. Flames shoot over 50% from the field in the second half as we take a look at those game stats and rebounding. Think about how many possessions where Liberty got maybe a tap out or offensive board to get another look. Yeah, that points off turnovers too. Yep. You know, that defense, even when you're not scoring, the defense was solid, causing turnovers. Liberty was able to turn those into points. Every one of them mattered tonight. So the win tonight sets up a huge showdown Thursday night. Liberty in North Florida, the two teams atop the A-Sun Conference. North Florida got the Flames earlier this year. Liberty will try to return the, flip, the favor Thursday, 7 p.m. right here at the Vine Center. Should be a great one. That's the next time we'll see you. For Paul Nassigan, I'm Matt Warner.